One of the most important things you can look at in an organization is change over time. That might be the number of customers you have, the number of people you reach, the amount of money you bring in. There's a lot of different things. And one of the best ways of looking at that is with a line graph where you have time across the bottom and the quantity that you're looking at measured vertically. Now I'm going to show you how to do both a single line graph and a multiple line graph. What I have here is some made up data of revenue from several different sources for a nonprofit organization. So we have donations, we have events that they run, for, say for instance, ticket sales, we have grants that they receive from private or government organizations, and the total amount of revenue for each month. And I've only got it for about a year and a half here. But this is enough to show us how these kinds of graphs work and the value you can get out of them. I'm going to start by doing just donations, although I do have to select month also because that's what goes across the bottom. So I'm selecting these two columns and I come over and I hit insert chart. And it does a line graph by default. And so you can see that things are kind of flat here at the beginning. Then there's a big jump. And by the way, if you just hover over, it can tell you what the actual values are at each point. But there's a few things that would be important to modify in this graph. First off, is I'm going to put not donations versus month, that makes it sound like there's an opposition, but donations by month. And then we don't need this legend over here, because there's only one line it doesn't tell us anything useful. So I'm going to hit none. And then I'm going to make a couple of other modifications to this chart. One is I, I don't like, you know, the jagged line. So I'm going to change its color. I'm going to change its thickness, I find a thicker line is often easier to deal with four points seems to work well. And then I'm going to put points on to indicate the actual values, the observations. So you see now we have a point at each place. That's helpful. Another thing you can do is I'm going to scroll back up to the top here to chart style is I have an option to smooth the line, because right now it goes straight, bend, straight, bend, and it's, I think that the jagged parts draw too much attention to themselves. So by smoothing it out, we make it curved, and it's a little easier to see the pattern over time. Now, just as a note, there is a separate smooth line chart as a type, so you can choose that if you want. But since I was just using the automatic insert chart, customizing it seemed like a good way to go. The next thing I want to fix is this over here. We've got 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, and it's easy to read, but the thousands part takes up more space than I want. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to come here to the vertical axis to the scale factor. And when I hit 1000, it divides all of these numbers by 1000. But I need to make sure that we don't think people are receiving just $10 in donations. So I'm going to modify this vertical axis title. And then in parentheses, I'll put thousands. And then there's one more thing I want to do here. And that is, right down at the bottom, it's giving me some of the months and you know, maybe that's okay. But personally, I'd like to see all of them. And so all I have to do is click on that and come to this one under horizontal axis and say treat labels as text. And when I do that, it shows all of them. On the other hand, it also slants some which is hard to read. So I'm going to change that to 90 degrees. And then I don't think we need this title here anymore for the access because it's explanatory what it is. And so there is a very clear line chart that shows the variations in donations by month from October of 2016 through February of 2018. It's really easy to see the changes. You want to see what happened between here and here to cause this big spike, what happened to get it all the way up to this maximum, and why did it fall so quickly. And so those are some of the issues that you're going to want to look at. But fortunately, this is what the purpose of this visualization is, is to bring these things to your attention so you can investigate it. Now, I showed you at the beginning, there's more than one source of revenue for this organization. There's not just donations, there's also events, there's grants, and there's a total. We can get all of those into one chart. I'll show you how that works. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this chart. So now I'm going to take this new chart, I'm going to drag it down. 
I'm going to move things up, but not all the way. I want to keep a little bit of the data showing over here because I need to change the data that I'm using. So I'm going to click on this and do edit chart. Then I'm going to hit data range. Now when I do that, I can simply come over to the data. And if I do shift command space on a Mac or shift control space on a PC, it selects the entire block of data. I hit that and voila, there's all my data. Now I'm going to come up and I'm going to make some changes to this. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select all series and I'm going to do all of them four pixels thick and all of them with seven pixel dots. Now, because I changed this red one manually, that means this darker orange one sort of conflicts. And so I need to change its color. So I'm going to come here to the darker orange one, which is events. And I'm going to change it to a blue. Great. So now we can tell them apart a little better. Now there's a couple of other things I need to do because I changed the nature of the data. Number one is I need to change the title here because this is no longer just donations. I need to put revenue by source by month. And then here on the side, I need to change donations to revenue. There we go. And there's one other thing. Because I have several different lines, you need to know which is which. And so I need to put the legend back in. So I'm going to put legend, and then I'm going to put it on the well, let's see how it looks on the right, there's on the right. And there is on the bottom. I actually think that maybe in this case, the one on the bottom looks a little bit better because we get a little more linearity in the chart that we have going across. In any case, this is a way of looking at the change over time of several different values. And it lets you see how the multiple sources contribute to a total and gives you a better picture, in this case, of the financial health of your organization.